I got thousand dollars worth of makeup. I have everything in front of me. I'll show you actually. Most of the makeup I bought was from Charlotte Tilbury, Refai, Dior, Huda Beauty, Hourglass. It's the first time I'm trying Hourglass. I think I've got a new product for every step. I haven't used any of it. Oh, oh no, I did use one lip gloss yesterday because I couldn't wait. I'm going to do my makeup. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm just going to start with the first product. The Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Already I have it in a darker shade. But this one is lighter. Because I've been so busy moving and stuff. I haven't really been using self tanner. I feel like this... Wait a minute. Now on to foundation. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. And I have the shade 1 Neutral. I also think this was the lightest they had. I always go for yellow toned foundations. Should be my shade. This is a more dewy foundation. So I do have to get used to it that it's not really covering anything. I do love it. Oh my god. Oh, it kind of looks good. What do you think? Now that I've blended it all in, my skin looks really good. You can still see like my the red spots on my cheeks and this side. But I think I'll cover it with concealer. With like the, the middle of my face. I really like it. The color. Wait, let me check. I think this is the perfect color actually. <laughs> I probably should wait till it's dry. Then I can say for sure. But normally, I because my foundation was too dark, I really had to blend on my neck. And with this one, I don't think it's necessary. And that's what I wanted because I don't like it when it gets all over my clothes and stuff. Or that I have to worry that it can get on my coat or anything. Ooh, I like it. Then next step is contour. I did get the contour wand. The blush and the highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. I've always heard that it's when you get it, it's almost empty. But I don't know. It feels fine to me. Let's squeeze it out. Oh my god, it's not getting out. Oh, I have to twist it. Oh yeah. Oh, now it's also like I can squeeze it way more. Now I get why people say it's almost empty. That's satisfying. <laughs> um, you really have to squeeze it like a lot until something comes out but i don't really care i'm really excited for this one shall i put on the blush as well no i'm going to blend it like this most of the brushes i use are from morphe from makeup by ariel yeah most of them oh my god i thought it disappeared but that looks really good Oh my god, it looks so good. And it's also really easy to work with. Because it's kind of dry, so it stays where you put it, if you know what I mean. And then you only just need to blend it out. And it just stays on the right spot. I love it. Also got liquid bronzer. It's the Charlotte Tilbury one. The next few products are all Charlotte Tilbury. They just have the, like, I really wanted all the base products. This is the bronzer. And I got this in the shade Fair. And it almost looks like a powder when you look at it. Oh my god, and now I have to ruin it. Kind of don't want to use it, but I know I always use, like, blend my makeup. And then it, at the end it looks kind of basic and I want to be more glamorous. So I think I'm just going to add this on top. And I also got more bronzers, like powder bronzers. And I'm also going to layer it. I just want to use it all. I just really want to try everything out. Yeah, so this is really bronzing my face. And then just on my nose. Oh, I forgot to blend this. From the contour. I already feel like all glow. I don't know, I love it. Okay, so that's the bronzer. I really like it. Like, the shades are perfect. I don't know, I just love it. Then I have the blush and the highlighter. And I, I did get a different blush from Rare Beauty. I did get two liquid blushes. My camera keeps stopping... How do you say it? Keeps quitting recording. Stopping recording? I don't know. So I think I'm... Like, half of it is not been on. So I'm sorry if I keep missing stuff. I think I'll just use the same brush. This is so easy to blend. I love it. Okay, so now the highlighter. I think I'm going to do this with my finger. 
so now I'm a shiny ball but I really I love everything so far I think I'm going to add this blush I saw one girl using this blush at the end of her routine so even after she applied powder so I'm going to try that as well so I'll save that for later oh so now I'm going to do I think I'm going to do concealer first and then my brows yeah I did get a new concealer brush also from Rare Beauty And it's kind of like the shape of your finger. And I got two new concealers. I got the Radiant Longwear from NARS. I've been wanting this for ages. I feel like this has been popular as long as I can remember. I got the shade Chantilly. And, I, and it's light one. I think this is the lightest shade. I'm not sure. And I also got Dior Forever Skin Correct. I finally found out why it stopped recording. I changed the settings and now we should be fine. Both shades I picked online, so I don't... Like everything I bought, I bought online, so I guessed which shade I needed. But this is Chantilly, and it looks pretty light. And I got this Dior Forever Skin, I correct. And this is the shade 00. Maybe it's too light, I don't know. Maybe it's perfect, I don't know. But I think I'm going to use the Dior one. I always put my concealer in the front because I do have red spots and then it looks cleaner. This way if I cover those up, it's basically white. <laughs> This is a great shade to highlight your face with. I don't think I should have put it in the spots I want to cover. Because now it's going to highlight those instead of covering it down. I think I ruined my makeup. I shouldn't have done this. Maybe if, like for under my eyes I think it's fine. Kind of like it. It already kind of dried so I guess you have to be quick with this one. I don't know really light but still it's i don't know maybe it, it works maybe it works i've got a new eyebrow products the refi i bought the brow collection so you get the brow gel pomade and a pencil so i am going to have to look at the steps okay, so you start with the brow sculpt then the pomade and then the pencil so this is the brow sculpt Apply a small amount on your brows. Use the comb to sculpt the brows into shape. Just going to back comb it to get it into my brows. And then they say to shape your brow. Oh my god, I think there's coming on way too much. I see all of this white. Gently press down with the brush. I'm just going to use my finger. My other brow, I'm just going to re-dip it. If you have the brow freeze, this is much more convenient because you only just need to use the brush. And it works really, really well. Maybe I've done it a little bit too much. Maybe I should tame them a little bit. No, I like it. Okay, like this. I have really crazy brows. Can remember the last time I licked my eyebrow? Then they say to use the brow pomade. One side you get this little brush. And then on the other side, there's this pomade in the back. Now they just say to fill up the gaps. I feel like it's the perfect color. So I I got the light one and it's actually pretty dark still. I really like this color. I really wouldn't not have liked it any darker. And it's also really easy to make. So I'm going to do this brow and I'll be back. The third step is the pencil. Okay, this is really tiny. And then on the other side you have a little brow brush. You just say to put this in your brow to define more and then soften it with the brush. I do really like it with the pomade you get like this soft brown but with the pencil you can really add definition I do like the steps but normally I would think you do the gel last but brows are done that was kind of a disaster I got all of these flakes when I was brushing it out with a brush tip and also this little pencil like the whole thing came out <laughs> I put it back and I think I fixed it And I can still use it, so that's fine. I really like the color. Really like, actually really like the gel, but not the flaking. But the gel, it gave immediate hold and the brow stayed where you, where you shape them. But okay, let's move on. So I think I've used all liquid products now. Yeah, so now we're going to do powder, but I just want to show you. Because I really like it so far. Okay, I'm really shiny, but like not like a grease ball, but like pretty shiny. I did get the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. I got the Cherry Blossom Cake. They also have a different shade that was popular before this came out. And that was like a light pink, peachy. I'm not sure. I think it was Cupcake. And so this is even more pink. And everyone is obsessed with pink. Like the Givenchy also has these pink shades. So I'm really excited to try. But I'm kind of scared because it's really, really pink. Look at this. Really pink if you look at my face. So let's see. Maybe it's not as pink as I think it is. 
this. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> and then I also got this powder puff. I've been using these triangles. Decided to pick this one up. You can also just buy them from Amazon. I feel like everyone's using the black ones from Amazon. So I really wanted to try those as well. But I'm just going to press this into the powder. It's pink, but it's not really like my face is pink. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. And not really powder my cheeks. Just parts I want to highlight. The scent is... It's kind of a nice scent, but like I can really smell it right now. But I do love it. Okay, so that's the powder. I'm just going to let this sit. And then I'll wipe it away later. I'm just going to do my bronzer next. I got the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and the Hourglass bronzer. And this is the first time I'm using Hourglass products. And I also bought the blush as well. And I got this bronzer. And they, they have a lot of shades. I watched a lot of TikToks. And this one girl, she worked at Hourglass. She explained like which shade you would need. This is the Radiant Bronze Light. This is more of a not shimmery. But I think it's like it gives you like this glowy bronze. Look. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury. And I know a lot of people really love this one. I have the shade Fair. I also really want to get darker shade. Maybe like the medium. If I use self tanner. But I thought I go for the Fair one. Because I also got like Fair foundation and stuff. Oh my god. It's quarter past three. I shouldn't be drinking coffee. And how cute are these glasses they have from Zara Home. Oh, and this one is also from Zara Home. They really have really cute glasses. But anyways, back to the bronzer. So I think I'm going to use this one at first. And then just use this as a topper. Because I just want to use them both. I really like the shade. It's, it's really easy to put on. And it's the perfect color. Here, I'm just going to put it on top of my nose. Like this. This is really pretty. And I've always wanted hourglass like the powders and stuff. And this is looking really beautiful. Maybe it's a bit too dark. Maybe I'm going a little bit overboard with all of these products. But I don't care. I'm not going anywhere today, so... Yeah, I think I put way too much. Let me try and fix this. Because I also want to add blush. Okay, I think that's a bit better. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you have this really sharp lines, it's so much more pretty. I also got the blush from Hourglass. And then I still have this one I want to try out. Maybe I shouldn't do it. So pretty. It's like a pinky pink and then an orangey pink. Or gourmet. It's really pretty. It's called Sublime Flush and I really, really like the... It's kind of like the Rare Beauty Blush. Yeah, I'm just going to add this on top of my cheeks, which are already really dark. And the bronzer is really, really, really pretty from Hourglass. Oh, and this is also really nice. That's so pretty. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing at this point. Because there's already a lot of product on my face. The blush is really pigmented. Pigmented. <laughs> It looks really pretty. I'm really obsessed. It's time for highlighter. I did get this Dior highlighting palette. I've also been wanting this for ages. I got this color. It's called the Universal one. They do have another really pretty color. I think it's called Rose Rosy Glow. I don't know. But it's more like peachy rose shades. And this also has like the bronzer shade white pink. I just wanted to get the, like the basic one. And then maybe I'll get the other one in the future. But I'm really excited to use this. I think I'm going to use the white shade. I really hope this doesn't mess up the pattern. It looks fine. Okay, so now it's time. Let me brush off this powder. So it does have this pinkish tint to it. Like a lot. Oh, if I look at my neck, it's like yellow. <laughs> because I really have yellow undertone. And then my skin now is pink. So maybe I shouldn't have used this all over my face. Or at least not here. Oh, but I also used the concealer. Which was way too light on this part of my face. So maybe that's why. Yeah, it's just way too light. But I do like it under my eyes. Because it's like a little bit more extreme. I don't know. Almost finished let's do the lips i did get some products from refi and i already have maybe i have it here I have the lip sculpt it's like this lip liner that really stays on your lips i really like it ow 
I have the shade taupe and I bought the shade, it's called blush. So I saw this girl, she uses the shade taupe to line her lips and then the shade blush to fill the middle part of her lips. I really like this brand Refine. I really want to try everything but I already got a lot of makeup like my, my money was, I was out of money, okay. <laughs> um, lip sculpt is this pencil which you can twist up and down. The first time, the previous one I got, the taupe one, I forgot to, I didn't know but you have to twist it back and then put the cap on because otherwise you will ruin the tip. This really stays on all day. Normally lip liners fade but these stay on all day. This also came with the lip gloss and ju it's just a clear gloss. It's this really cool applicator. Also got a different lip liner from Huda Beauty. So I got this clear gloss from Revi but I also got two lip oils. One from Clarence. If you watch Abby Young, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but Abby Young, she always does her research and she really knows her stuff. And I really trust her and she really likes this lip oil and also the Dior one, but she, this was her number one. But she said they reformulated, so I hope I got the old formula because she didn't really like the new one. Got this in raspberry and this was the one I already used. And it smells like raspberry and I don't really like raspberry, so I think I should have got like strawberry or like a different scent strawberry would be really nice i also saw they have papaya and i don't know if the match if the scents match the shade but i feel like this smells like raspberry so i think they do but i really like this this is you get really juicy cool looking lips i really like this one i also got the dior lip oil and i've been wanting this since i was really really young so oh my god i'm really obsessed I chose the shade Cherry. It's kind of the same as this shade. I probably should have gotten a different one. I'm really excited to try this one. So I'm not going to use the Ref5 products, but I'm going to use the Huda Beauty lip liner and then with this lip oil. I got the shade Sandy Beige. I know the shade Twinkie Brown is really popular, but I swatched it in store and I felt like the color was really orange. I didn't really like the color, but maybe on your lips it looks better. But so I decided to look further and see if people like any other shades and i found this color on tiktok some girls are using it and it's sandy beige and it's more like a i think like a brownish color i i can't get it out <laughs> let me just rip open this packaging i'm going to get rid of the packaging anyway but i don't like ripping it open it's the lip contour 2.0 and this one is retractable so you can just twist it instead of sharpening it Apparently this one should stay as well all day. It's kind of darker than I'm used to, but then again, I don't want it to be super natural. Okay, I always overline like right at the bottom. My cupid's bow. Okay, let's try and blend this in. I always really like it if you can actually see the line when I look at other people. So I guess I should not blend this in that much. But I also don't want to look like a crazy person. This is really dark for me, but I think I kind of like it. Now let's try the lip gloss or the lip oil. It smells kind of minty. already got it dirty the lip liner really like this oh it's kind of pink yes i love it okay so now only the eyes i didn't buy any eyeshadow i did get new a new brush set from makeup by ariel i already had the like the i don't know how it's called it's like the face collection i don't know i think and this is the eye collection so i already have a couple of eye brushes like this one is also in this set so i have a few double now but this one had like this brush i don't have this liner brush and i'm really excited because i can do like an eyeliner with this there are a couple of extra brushes i didn't have yet i'm just going to do a quick eye look primer I'm just going to use the bronzer I used from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just going to put that in my crease. I'm going to use my Makeup by Mario, the Master Mask. Just going to do a quick eye look. 
I barely did anything on my eyes, but just some lighter color in the in inner corner and then darker on the outside, like in the outer view. I finally got this one. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And I really been wanting this for a long time. I'm really excited because this is really supposed to make your makeup less, but also it's just like, I really like the packaging. <laughs> I'm really a sucker for packaging. Like I need the whole vibe to be as glamorous as possible. I hope this smells good. Oh, the... Oh, uh, it smells nice. Um, but it's really like uh, more of a spritz in your face. I'm not used to that. The Urban Decay is much more of a mist. And this is much more of a like a direct spray. I don't know if I got a faulty one. But yeah, maybe I just have to get used to it. My lips are actually... I didn't expect this to be like that much of a color on the lips. But I kind of like... I'm just going to let this dry. I also got a new lash curler. I used to use the Shuumura Shuumura eyelash curler. It was really popular like back in the day. I think it's still popular, but I've used it for years and I really wanted to get a new one that's clean. <laughs> I decided to buy the Dior one just because I like the look of it. And people like it really depends on your eye shape, which curler is right, which one you would like. But I figured I will just try this one out. It looks really fancy. I really like it. I think my eyelashes are dry. I really like the lips. It's like, let me show you. You can see it's like this gradient lip. I really like it. And then it's like the pinky on the middle and then the brown. I love it. I always do my tips first, then the middle, and then right at the lash line. And then I go inwards. I feel like this one is a lot bigger than the Shulmura, the one I'm used to. Like normally I, I had to twist and then like get the inner corner and then the outer corner. But with this one I can't really twist it because, oh yeah I can, just a little bit. It kind of hurts me because this top bit is a bit big. I wanted this to work. Maybe I should just practice with this. I'm not ready to give up on this pretty. I don't know, maybe it's too big for my eyes. Like it really stinks this corner. It really gets like in the hollow of my eye. Last step, I got this waterproof mascara. I actually bought it during the summer, last summer. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex, but it's the waterproof version. I never use the original one and also never this one. I always use waterproof mascaras because they really hold my curl because I have really straight lashes. Really excited to try this one out. Because normally drugstore I would use like from L'Oreal and stuff. And Maybelline and, and such. But let's try this one. There's still flakes in my eyebrow. I feel like this is really dry. Lately I haven't been using mascara. So it's always kind of weird when I do use it. But I like it. It's not like anything special. I don't think. But then again I haven't used mascara in a while. Like, like occasionally. I've been really liking the no mascara look. But I don't know. I really want to use mascara every day. Because I feel like it's also more glam. That's the finished makeup. Yeah. I really like my makeup and this it is a bit light. I don't mind it a bit lighter than my neck. It's more natural if it's lighter than if, if it would be darker. I kind of like it. Now that's all finished. <laughs> I don't really mind that this is a little bit lighter because it's I'm sure like nobody would notice on me. I really wanted to get the first English video up so I can just practice my English. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye.